Last episode, the boys had finally managed to take on their first hill climb. There were some bumps and bruises, and some scratches to cars as well. But this was only a small part of what turned into an absolutely massive day. Ah. With the wind absolutely howling, it was time to go and check out the sights and see what sort of trouble we could get ourselves into today. Freezing and windy outside. Our first stop was a trick point lookout at Marangaroo, where we were nearly blown off the top of the hill. Hubs in, Chels. It's alright, I got gotcha. First touristy destination done and dusted. It was time to head off and find some four driving fun.
Cameron was really testing out the flex of this little Jeep, taking on the most adventurous lines he could. There wasn't much this weekend that he didn't have a go at. But even the Jeep at times couldn't get through what we were asking it to and had to take a more reserve line. I don't know about you, but I'd be puckering right now if my ute was on that angle. Right now, I was starting to get a little nervous. Watching Aaron and Heath put their utes through their paces and seeing what their vehicles had to do to get through this track. I wasn't sure. Was the Ranger capable? Did it have the stretch and the clearance to do what these other four-wheel drives did? There's only one way to find out. Low forward drive engaged. Check. Diff locks in. Check. Let's do this. Little bit of wheel lift there. The Ranger was doing it easy, and I was getting more and more comfortable with what was happening underneath. Righto curl. Show these young fellas with their big tyres and their massive lift how it's really done. Slow and steady mate, that's the way. No one needs to break anything today.
<laughs> Wanna tell everyone where we're at? Uh power line track, the Lithgo. It's not uh, massive but it's good. Let's you out. Happy go with this big black BT just chewing it up. These are the sort of things that Curl and I used to look at and say, nah, that's not for us. We could never get through that. And sometimes we still do. But more often than not, we'll give it a crack, albeit a little bit slower than others. <laughs> Never in doubt, Curl. Never in doubt. Not far up the road, we found our next challenge. Well, beaten our in anyway. Looking back on it now, I think we probably would have got through this little challenge. But at the time, after the last one, we both thought, is it worth it? It's a long weekend. Let's not break anything just yet. It's catching here. Second thoughts, maybe our little 31s wouldn't have quite got through this. If nothing else, Aaron was definitely committed to the challenge. say he wanted to test his Jeep out. Aaron 
Jesus, Jake. Okay. Bloody magic little machine. No diff locks either, so if you had diff locks, he would have just smashed that out. We've clawed here out of the ute to get some fresh air, and after a few nervous moments already today, and also been a few months pregnant, it was Heath's turn to have a go. Right, Amy, show us what this cruiser can do. It's on there. It's my crack. Taking on new obstacles, tracks or other things that you haven't tried before, it's always a good idea to bring an experienced driver and spotter, and they'll help you get through it. Aaron moved it in there. So close. Oi! <laughs> yeah. I can't laugh because I'm not over there yet. So. Roll back a bit of half a foot. to try. You just need a helping hand and a gentle push from your mates to get the job done. And then sometimes it can take more than a few gentle pushes to get you going.
working. Sometimes you just need to use a little bit more right foot. rain was starting to make things a little bit interesting. The easy lines were beginning to get greasy and the hard lines were nearly impassable. Love your work, Curl. Now let's go and have some lunch, buddy. The off-road tradies wouldn't be possible without our sponsors and supporters. You can find the off-road tradies on Instagram and Facebook.